weighing about six and a half pounds with those batteries on it. Okay, we're coming up on like the two minute mark on my stopwatch, but I know I'm about 30 seconds late on starting it. So I'll take that into consideration. When I see the castles uh, inside the software, the castle link, it'll allow you to go in under the multi-rotor and set how you want them to stop um, when it hits a certain voltage. Everyone says that I should turn it off, right, completely, and it's better to lose a $200 battery than it is a, you know, a couple thousand dollar craft, which I agree. I'm just curious as to see what happens with that uh, Castle Creations shutoff in soft mode. Basically what it's going to do, it's going to power back until um, it reaches the voltage above 3.6. Well, the way the LiPos work is once you take a load off of them, they will increase in voltage because there's an under um, there's an under load voltage, and then there's a, uh, a at rest voltage. Well, it's, you can see this craft is wandering off. I haven't touched the controls at all. It's just slowly creeping away. I don't know what that's all about. We'll see if it corrects itself. That's really strange. Under GPS and altitude hode, it's not supposed to move that far. It's slowly drifting away. I'm gonna bring it back over. I'm actually manually bringing it over. To where it was. I'm not sure why it drifted that way. So that's kind of roughly where it was before. It's still drifting and I don't understand what's happening. It hasn't drifted before. I'm gonna bring it back over. Okay, so it doesn't seem like it's gonna hold in one spot very long. I wonder if you guys have ever had your crash drift that far. We're at the four minute mark. Now it's wanting to drift to the right a little bit. It's really strange. I'm gonna bring the altitude up a little bit. Started to go down and drop a little bit. And we've moved a little bit to the right. So I'm gonna rotate me around back again to where we were. I'm gonna bring the craft over. I'm moving it myself now. Okay, I've got to let it lock on hold. I mean, overall, I'm pretty impressed with how it's holding. That drift was kind of strange, though. It just was creeping away. It was slowly walking away. We're past the five-minute mark now. I'm going to bring it down a little bit in case the ESCs can chop it off. I'm going to get it out of ground effect. Right up there is pretty good. It's pretty cool if you just put the throttle.